We're driving Isuzu MUX here, which is a wagon based on Isuzu's very popular D-Max Ute. It's back in 4 before of the year for another tilt after being here four years ago as a new car. It's back because it's got a new powertrain, three litre four cylinder turbo diesel as before, but the torque's been rated up from 360 newton metres to 430 newton metres. Power stays the same at 130 kilowatts. Automatic gearbox has been upgraded from a five speed to a six speed. Same gearbox as what's actually used in Hilux and Prado. It went well last time, we're gonna see how it goes again this time. MUX is almost the most traditional four-wheel drive out of these cars. Very simple layout, coil spring IFS, live rear axle at the back, no fuss. Performance-wise, it works well. It's got a little bit more torque than previously. The new gearbox works nicely. Very comfortable on all sorts of surfaces. It's a very competent vehicle and quite a comfortable vehicle, but it falls short in some regards compared to some of those direct competitors. It's probably the vehicle I would take bush with me. I guess that's shown by the, by the sales figures and the number of uh, grey nomads who are buying them and towing their caravan around the country. I think uh, I see the MUX appeals to someone who wants to tow a big van. It's got a, such a high towing rating, a three and a half tonne. Again, it's a very simple engine, simple vehicle, so nothing much can go wrong in terms of complex electrics, for example. And it's, it's well priced. And there's more and more Isuzu dealers throughout the country, which is a big thing dealer support when you're traveling through remote areas. The engine's got more torque than it had before. Same power, but the torque gives it more flexibility. Better gearbox. The whole driving experience is much better than the previous annual. Well, if somebody asks me which car you're going to jump into, not worry about it, take it around Australia, it's going to be that. It is a known quantity. It, that engine's been around for a long time, it's reliable, it's got Isuzu written on it, well respected. If you wanted something to buy and drive around Australia, you know, round and round and round and round, that'd be the thing to buy because it's good price, reliable, robust, simple, not much to complain about, actually. With the engine, they sort of breathed you know, life back into it because it was starting to fall behind and that extra torque they've got now was an extra 50 newton metres yeah, or so. 430 newton metres from 360 before. It works well with that gearbox. On the open road, it's really relaxed sort of tourer. Yeah, that six speed's much better than the old five speed. Yeah. On the, again, on the road, the ride quality of things really quite well sorted, I think, too. It's not sophisticated or anything like that. Very basic. It's pretty basic when you get into the cab. It's, it's well laid out. You know, you know where mm. things are without really having to look for them and all that sort of thing. It doesn't try to pretend to be anything. It's no, not. it's very honest. You know car. exactly what you're getting when you get there. I think like, like Dino said, the suspension performance is good on-road and good off-road too. It's nothing spectacular, but it does the job. And you can buy suspension from any of the big manufacturers for that car. You can buy bull bars for it. You can buy roof racks and side rails and anything else you want for it, you can get. And that's about the only car out of these contenders that you can do that. So that really sort of pushes it up in the pushability stakes, doesn't it? Yeah. Amongst this lot, you'd happily recommend it to your friends, wouldn't you? I would. A lot of people, you know, ask us what car should they buy a family car with a 50 grand budget. And it's probably almost, you know, the first car I go to for, at that price point. And it's all functional. Instrumentation is easy to access and use. Nothing stands out. You just hop in the car and you drive it. It's honestly one of the best cars there, there's no doubt about that. And something that you quite easily recommend to people a good, well-proven car, good engine, strong, well-known. I find it a good car, and out of those ones out there, if I was going around Australia tomorrow, it'd probably be the vehicle I'd choose.